Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a couple of 30 minutes missions EAV or extended, what is it? Extended armament vehicles. Gonna be taking a look at both number 13 and 14 today. Number 13 is the customized carrier version here like this, which looks very cool. Number 14 is the tilt rotor version like this. So a couple of different vehicles that you can use in combination with your 30 minutes missions kits to kind of have them combined or you can mix and match the parts. Of course, you can do a lot of cool stuff with these sets. And that's what we'll be taking a look at for today's video. Let's get into it. All right, so the customized carrier here first, just going in numerical order. This is number 13 in the line. Here you can see just kind of an image of what that's going to look like. But of course, there's some different cool stuff that you can do with this. It's very similar to to like the transport truck from the original Gundam series there, as you can see. And so you can kind of use it in a very similar way. You can have your 30 minutes missions kit kind of laid out on it or kind of more uh, inclined up there like that, like you can see in this background image. Here on the bottom of the box, there's a little bit about the articulation and you can just kind of see a couple of different images here showing some of the different things like this part here at the back and these parts here at the side can be folded up to basically make sort of like a box there in the back, like a kind of more typical kind of truck bed, I guess anyway. You can see a little bit about some of the details and features of this right there. And then of course you can use this together with these other customized parts, which I can't think of the name of, but those customized parts that make this kind of cage sort of looking bit there like that. You can also link multiple of these uh, vehicles together there front to back like that, which looks pretty cool. And on the other side, just a couple more images of what this kit is going to look like. The part for the actual windshield of the truck, I can imagine is not going to be a clear part. Unfortunately, we're probably just gonna have stickers for that or something, but only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and crack it open. And yep, there's those stickers right off the bat. We'll take a look at those in just a second. First, just wanna check out the manual here briefly. Where here on the manual, we do have a full color image of what we saw on the front of the box. We do also have a little bit of text over here and that is gonna be there in Japanese and in English. So I'll put that up on the screen in case you guys want to pause the video and read about that. And then down here, a little bit about how you can customize this by basically turning it into like a weapons platform. You can just attach a bunch of weapons onto it, something like that, along with your forestieri there and you can make it look like a pretty cool kind of forestieri and weapons transport unit. So the kit is pretty much not in color at all, but we do have the first couple of pages of construction are gonna be here in color before we get to the inside of the instruction manual where everything is all gonna be just here in black and white. And there's additional instructions here kind of showing you how you can use some of those different option sets together with this, which is pretty cool. But here are those foil stickers. We've got some in metallic blue for the front windshield and then some here in red kind of for like just the brake lights, I guess probably is where those are going. For the runners here, runner C2 is gonna be in black for the wheels. And we've got three of this runner there. Runner JA5 is for a few different connection bits here in gray, we've got two of those. Runner SMI is gonna be here for some of the larger parts of the truck. As you can see, it is really nicely detailed. There's a lot of nice detail around there. And then SMJ1 and J2 is gonna be our other two runners here, also in gray and also pretty nicely detailed there. But that's it for all the runners for this set. All right, and then yeah, our other set here, we're gonna be taking a look at say is our tilt rotor version. So I don't really know why they include version in the name for these vehicle sets, because I don't. it's a version of what exactly? I don't know why they don't just call it tilt rotor vehicle or something like that anyway, but the naming is odd, but the vehicle itself does look pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of that aircraft kit that we had out in the HD Kyokai Senki series, and it's used in a very similar way. This basically can be attached onto like the back or I guess top of some of our 30 minutes missions kits, something like that. And we'll see exactly how this is gonna work here as we get into it. But right here on the bottom of the box shows a little bit about some details of this, how the rotors are actually able to rotate. And if you get two of the sets, you can make a sort of uh, drone looking aircraft like this. Interesting that that would be on there. And then of course, just here's how the tilt rotor mode is gonna look. Or if you have it attached onto the back of a, again, forestieri for this one. And then over here, of course, you can customize this by adding more weaponry onto it too from some of the different weapon sets and everything. So on the top of the box here, another look at the front and back of the fully built and painted, I, th I think that's painted anyway, at least fully built kit right there. And we can go ahead and crack this open. Probably not gonna be a whole lot in here. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, smaller box. It's very thin. And then also it's not as uh, wide as like a full HG box. But on the inside of the instruction manual, we've got the full color box art right there. And once again, some text there if you guys want to check that out. And yeah, the background image does look pretty cool. And then down here, yes, the customized unit there with some added weaponry on it from this weapon set. So that's pretty cool as well. And then on the inside, yeah, we've got color 
for the first kind of bulk of the instructions here is a little bit about that. And then the inside of the construction, the inside of the instructions here is gonna be all in black and white there showing how you can kind of customize this with some different parts and things like that. So for our runners, runner SML1 and L2 are gonna be here for all of our gray parts for the kit, which do look pretty nice, some nice detail on there. And then SMK1 and K2 are gonna be all of our white parts here. Now obviously this is going to benefit greatly if you went and actually panel lined all the details on here, because if you look closely, there is a lot of detail on these white parts, but in all of that white, that's probably gonna be kind of drowned out. So definitely a little bit of gray panel lining will go a long way on these white parts, but for now, let me go ahead and get these all built up and we'll see how it looks. And here's the tilt rotor vehicle all put together and now just on its own it makes for a nice set and I'll show you some of the features of this. Obviously if you wanted to use this in combination with uh, some of your other 30 minutes missions units I'll show you at least a couple of examples of that too. Obviously as it goes with these sets customization is key and there's way more that you could do with this than what I'm going to be able to show you just in this video but let me show you what we got here. Starting off right here underneath kind of what would be sort of a cockpit sort of looking feature you'll notice there's this camera right here which looks like that might be able to turn and that would have been a cool feature except that this is not plugged in with a three millimeter round hard point which would allow it to turn but it's actually a rectangular connection point right here so that is fixed in place unless you decide to customize that now if you go back a little bit further behind that we have these kind of missile pod looking parts here which can rotate and this is actually when it's in its landing state you're meant to rotate these up and the other thing you're meant to do is rotate the wings kind of pointed down like this and that's how i guess how it's supposed to look when it's landing but the actual uh, propellers here will rotate not very i mean it's not like i have to do it manually i can't just like spin it and it's like a spinner it's going to go round and round and round so you can rotate those to a particular angle if you so choose and then the chain guns will actually pop out this is a kind of a cool feature right here this is built in so this will pop out like that and you obviously don't want to extend that too far forward because then realistically that's going to be interfering with the path of your propellers but you can extend that a little bit forward like that and you have your chain guns underneath here and so those are going to look pretty cool obviously hard points all around down here along the sides you have attachment points for c-clips here and on the underside here more hard points here for plugging this onto a base more c-clip attachment points these fins here at the back are just connected via straight pegs like that. So if you wanted to, let's say, attach these parts here onto the back right there, something like that. Instead, again, it's all about customization, so you can do whatever you want with this. Well, there is the option to make the drone mode. You need two of this set in order to make that. So I won't be able to demonstrate that for you guys here for today. But of course you can combine these parts with your different 30 minutes missions, uh, like main body sets in order to use it basically as a backpack, or you, I'm sure you could make a, a lot of different combinations of these parts here. So we will try that out as we take a look at some poses here with this. Overall, a really cool set with a variety of different uses. And obviously you can get quite creative with this as for how you want to use these parts. and uh, as the manual states too, if you have more than one set, there's a lot more stuff that you can do with this too. And you can imagine how having more than one of these could make for some pretty cool, like larger, more massive builds if you wanted to add a bunch of these parts onto like a big, massive 30 minutes missions custom build or using this on something like the Providel. If you had like uh, two of this set and using four of those uh, rotor units on something like a larger suit like the Providel unit or something, for example, could look pretty cool for sure. So a lot of great uses that you could get out of these parts available in this set for sure. Now onto the customized carrier. This one you guys will find interesting just for the variety of its uses here as well. Now there are some stickers utilized for basically the windscreen here are the canopy for like the cockpit those blue ones there a couple of red stickers on the front and then going around here on the back as well and we do have a couple of option parts too but for the most part here the wheels will turn once again as you turn them and then between the front section here and then the back section there's some movement there so you can have this sort of turning like that and then it's what is essentially just the sort of the trailer here trails along following behind all of the wheels are functional in that they all turn and then on the underside some nice detail here as well with plenty of hard points all around as you can see so these side panels here can be rotated up like so these back sort of panels here can also be moved up and down it's a double joint here so you can move it up a little bit further or just up here at the bottom depending on how you need that to move 
and then the whole sort of trailer bed also lifts up and you have this stabilizer piece underneath which you can fold out and this fits into one of four slots there so depending on the desired height so the lowest angle it's uh, kind of about 45 degrees i guess it's probably a little bit more but something like that and then at the highest angle would be up to like almost 90 degrees, but it's not a huge difference between the variety of angle there. I think if you really wanted, you could just set this, not actually in one of the slots, but just set it something like that to be a little bit of a lower angle. So just depending on what you want, you can use this stabilizer piece there for that. And that's how it's going to look on the underside. One of our option parts would be this connection piece, which you can use here at the back to attach multiple trailers together. Again, if you had two of this set, you could attach trailers uh, infinitely if you wanted to, but imagining two or three of these connected together would probably be about the maximum that you might want to do. You have a connection piece there for that. We have two of these connection pieces which can be used here. So what we can do is actually connect that and then this also uh, is able to move up and down. But if you put that like that and kind of rotate all of these parts up like this, you can make your truck bed like so there in the back. So it's basically just acting kind of like as a wall there and like i said you do have two of these parts but only one set of the connection pieces so you can't actually use these both at the same time kind of as it is all of the other leftover connection pieces that we have are just these uh, male to male connection pieces which you can use uh, for attaching some weapons if you had like one of your suits from the 30 minutes missions line in here you can use these connection pieces to attach their weaponry in there like we saw in the manual and that's pretty much it as far as the base functionality goes for this but of course again you can obviously customize this to your liking in a number of different ways and we'll take a look at a few of those options right now but again it's all about customization so there's obviously a lot more that you could do with this if you guys get this set for yourself or get multiples of the set again you can get creative and absolutely these sets can be used uh, this one in particular works really well for if you wanted to use this with some of your Gumpla. So I would think it's probably a little bit too small uh, for anything 100 scale, maybe a smaller like a 100 scale F91 suit or something like that might fit on here uh, pretty well. But otherwise you're gonna wanna use this probably with your 144 scale Gumpla kits if you wanna use this uh, with your Gumpla, it'll work well for that. So even if you're not so much into the 30 minutes mission stuff and you don't really have much 30 minutes mission kits, this is absolutely one of those sets that you can get and just use it with your Gumpla. So definitely, makes for a really nice set because um, as far as I know Bandai doesn't really have a model kit set of like the Gundam transport trailer like this that's uh, very easily accessible as far as I can remember so definitely if it's something you want to use for your Gumpla setup or for some sort of diorama or something it's a really great option for that so that's about going to do it for this video guys just wanted to take a quick look at a couple of these uh, extra vehicle sets here from the 30 minutes missions line let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and if you guys want to check out some of these sets for yourself you can check the link in the video description to us at gundam store uh, all sorts of great 30 minutes mission stuff there and everything else from bandai of course so check out that link and while you're here guys if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video making sure that you're subscribed really appreciate all of your support thank you so much until next time hope you guys all have a great day i'll see y'all later bye guys